All right, the reason I asked about the uh, married people in here, because we're going to do a little quick class for you sisters. For you sisters. 1 Corinthians 14, 37. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 37. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. So, the things that are written, and this is not only for the mar married sisters, but the uh, young ladies. This is for sisters in general. Sisters that are still of marriageable age, that are even aspiring to get a husband or whatever. It says, Paul said, the things that I write unto you are what? The things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. So the, the, the Old Testament ain't only the commandments. The New Testament's the commandments also. The things that Paul wrote, he was writing the commandments of God. He was helping us to get a better understanding of the commandments of God. Same way we had, y'all know that we had the commandments before Moses, right? Y'all know that Abraham kept the commandments, right? Genesis 26 and 5. You got it? It's the book, the book of, Genesis. of Genesis. Chapter 26, verse 5. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Y'all write that, that, uh, that scripture right there down. Write that precept down. Make sure y'all got that written down because a Christian will come and be like, you know, Abraham gave when they when it's time for the uh for the tithe, they be like, Abraham gave a tenth. Shut up. Go back to First Corinthians. First Corinthians uh fourteen. The book of four, First Corinthians. Fourteen thirty-seven. Chapter fourteen, verse thirty-seven. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge. That the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. So the 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 New Testament, Paul's writings, Paul were, was writing the commandments of God. So as I want you to pay attention to that, John 14 and 15. John 14. Real quick, by a show of hands. Not the little white Jesus hands. Don't do that, sisters. How many of y'all love the Lord? Hey, how many sisters we got over here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I said sisters, y'all. All right, all right, y'all can put your hands down. Brothers threw their hands up. They like, I don't care, I love the Lord anyway, too. I love her for them. Read that. It's the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So Paul said the things that he write are the commandments of God. Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love Christ, you got to keep these commandments and the things that Paul wrote were commandments of God. So y'all love the Lord, right, sisters? Yes. Why they be like, oh, okay. I know it says you got to keep silent in the church, but I'm giving y'all permission right now to say, y'all love the Lord, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Hey, they in order because they don't say nothing because it say keep silent in the church, right? Okay. They don't do it at home. <laughs> you know, with two or more gathered in, in, in Christ, then that's the church. Y'all don't be operating like that at the crib. Bring it up. But anyway, Paul said he wrote the commandments of God. First John chapter 5, verse 3. It's the book of first John. It's the book of first John. Chapter 5, verse 3. This ain't gonna be long. For this is the love of God, Read. that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. It says that Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Paul said the things that he write are commandments of God. And John, it says, if you love God, then his commandments cannot be grievous to you. Ladies, the commandments cannot be grievous to you. All right, let's get it going. Let's get something that Paul wrote, which is a commandment of God. Ephesians 5. 22. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands 
as unto the Lord. It says, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Brothers. What does that mean? Married brothers. Only married brother raised their hand. Go ahead. Hold on now. All the married brothers raised their hand. All right. So I'm going to pick one. I ain't even, because you bold with it. I love your zeal. Everybody put their hand up high. Y'all doing the love season of Bozier. Y'all spooked. <laughs> All right. Let me get the new one. The new, the newly be, the newly be to be married. What does that mean? Read that again. Wise. Hold on. Sister, where's she at? Make sure you're listening. All right. Read the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. What's that mean? Uh, yeah, lightweight, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to do a little bit more than that. Mary Brothers, raise your hand again. All right, let me get you back here in the, in the corner over here. I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Listen to your husband like you listen to Christ. It says, okay, listen to your husband as you like you would listen to Christ. Uh, yeah, right there. They will see Christ in you. Yeah. Yeah. All of them is right. All right. Read it again. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. All right. Um, Moshe. What's that mean? That means that the, the man, the woman's not supposed to take authority over a man. The man, he's the one that leads and makes all the decisions with the council of leadership and God and the Bible and his wife. Yeah, y'all missing it though, man. Y'all missing it. Y'all missing it. And the reason that the, the, a lot of, okay, yeah, the, the reason that a lot of stuff be going wrong with sisters or whatever, y'all doing y'all wives a disservice. When y'all be having them arguments and whatnot, y'all do your wives a disservice by not really hitting this scripture. Because remember, these are commandments of God. And to break this commandment, your wife will be in sin. Mm. It's a sin. Remember, it's going to come a time. Sisters, y'all don't even realize this. When, because they take this stuff lightly. When Christ comes back, he's going to look at a group of people and say, Depart from me, I never knew you. And there's going to be some couples right there. And he's going to look at the husband and say, Nigga, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew you. Come on, sister. Well, well done, my good and faithful servant. Come on up in here. And it's going to be some wise, and you're going to be like, careful, please. <laughs> Over there. With the blue shakers. <laughs> now read that again. Mary brothers, listen up. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Gosh, like you. Also, what's that mean? Thank you. The same way when it says, read that last part again, read it strong. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. That part right there, read that part again. As unto the Lord. Read it again. As unto the Lord. Like as if Jesus Christ, when you was mad at your husband, all of a sudden you seen a light open up y'all's roof and Christ floated down and went into your husband's like. <laughs> Nah, nah. <laughs> he overshadowed your husband like the Holy Spirit. Hey, and your husband's face rolled back and Christ's face came out. Like, what you say? <laughs> Mary brothers. How many of your wives argue with you? Raise your hand. Dang, a lot of y'all got righteous wives. Oh, oh. Who has how many of your wives have a rebuttal when you say something? A rebuttal. They have something to say against what you as the Lord have spoken. Sisters, how many of you, by show of hands, are going to argue when Christ gives you an order? Or have a rebuttal? No, not one. 
So that means that they're not seeing you uh, or, or submitting to you as unto the Lord. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. As simple as that. And that is a what? It's a what? It's a sin. Sisters, that's a sin. Y'all didn't know that, did y'all? Y'all gonna learn today. That's a sin for y'all to do that. Read that again. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. All right, drop that. We're gonna come back here, though. First Peter chapter 3. First Peter chapter 3 and verse 1. Now that was that was Paul saying, wives, submit yourselves to your husbands. Read. First Peter chapter 3, verse 1. And, and he says, submit as unto the Lord. And just the same way if it was Christ standing in front of you and you would submit and bow down to him, do the same thing with your husband. Read. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husband. It says, Ye wives, be in subjection to your own husband. Says it again. Read. That if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. Now watch this. Hey, sisters, check this out. Remember I said it's going to be a time where the Bible says it's going to be a time where Christ comes back and he's going to say, Depart from me. I never knew you. Workers of iniquity. It's going to be some sisters that are in the spirit with their husbands. And their husbands is... A dang on devil. The devil the Bible speaks of. And that Negro ain't getting the kingdom. But you will because you stayed in subjection to your husband. As long as he didn't cause you to sin. You stayed in subjection to your husband. You applied the scriptures pertaining to your husband. That you was trying to win him over even though he obeyed not the word. You was trying to win him over and whatnot. And he was the devil. And when Christ come back and y'all standing there, he gonna be like, nigga, please. Over there. Come on, sister. Come on up in here. Or you can be the one. Ah, yes. And you go like, hey, both of y'all over there. Y'all out of here. Over there with the what? With the booty shakers. <laughs> y'all go over there with them. Read that again. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. It says, first off, what I want out there is wives be in subjection to your own husbands. And hey, if he's acting like a little devil at that moment or whatever, it's not telling you that you got to stay with a, a sinful man for the rest of your life. You have to leave him, whatever. That's between you, him, and the Lord, or whatever. But in those moments, when he's just acting unreasonable, when, you know, he's saying something, maybe you getting done, you feel like you're getting done unrighteously or whatever, that's still the Lord of the house that's still like Christ standing in front of you, period. And the most I ain't going to, most I judge him for what he's doing, but the most I is also looking at what y'all doing. How are you acting? Because I told you to be in subjection. I told you as unto the Lord. Same way you wouldn't be talking back to me, are you talking back to him? Oh yeah, he is wrong, but so are you. You wrong now too. You right there with him. And you ain't gonna get that right. With the word keep coming out. Did the captain teach that class over and over again? Did the did the did, did the bishop teach that class over and over again? You still never got that right. You never fixed it. Read on. Verse two. While they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. Mm -hmm. Who's adorning? Let it not be the outward adorning of the plaiting the hair and of the wearing of gold or putting on of apparel. But it says, your adorning sisters, don't let it be an outward appearance. Let it be an inward thing. Your adorning should be inward. Your, your ornaments should be the ornaments inside your spirit. And it don't have to necessarily be inside your spirit between you and your husband, but because you serve the Lord, you're going to serve your husband like the Lord told you to serve him. Because your, your Lord might not even get there. Your husband, being your Lord, might not even get to heaven. But because of the way that you act, because you love God so much, and his commandments are not grievous. Remember, this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments and what? Commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not grievous. Because his commandments are not grievous. Okay, you know what? I love the Lord, so I'm being subjection to my husband. And I ain't going to just be outwardly, like the adornment of my hair, outwardly in subjection. I'm going to be inwardly in subjection. I'm not going to let the change of my countenance, you know, it gets on your nerves when you're, you newly married. You might not have went through it yet. But you know what I'm talking about. But they be sitting there talking about, ain't nothing wrong with me. 
ain't wrong with me. Ain't wrong with me. It is something wrong with you. You ain't acting like ain't nothing wrong with me. Ain't nothing wrong with me. <laughs> the inward, inwardly, outwardly, she like ain't nothing wrong with me. And then you say something and she snap at you. Y'all see what I'm saying? What's wrong? Nothing wrong with me. You hungry? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's me right now. <laughs> Read. Who's adorning? Let it not be the outward adorning of the plaiting of the hair and the wearing of gold or putting on of apparel, mm -hmm. but let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible. Let it be the hidden man of the heart. Meaning it don't matter what your husband, it don't matter how your husband got on your nerves or whatever. You know what? Let me go in my little secret little spot and let me pray this thing off of me. He's getting on my nerves right now. But that's the Lord. And I love the Lord and his commandments are not grievous. So I'm about to go down there and apply that to this man right now. Because that's my Lord. I'm trying to make it to the kingdom. Period. Let me shake that thing off. Yeah. Hey, baby. What you need? I'm good. Not that I ain't gonna need it. I gotta hit that bull crap. Read off. Even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. It says even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. Meaning the place where your husband can't really touch. The place where just you and the Most High dwell on the inside. That's where you need to be meek and the, the Most High is looking at that. That's where he's looking for you to be meek and quiet and good and your spirit's right. Because if that's right, it's going to show on the outside. Remember the change of a, count, of the, of a, of a person's countenance? So, the, what is it? Change What's, in his heart. The change of the heart. Yeah. Read the script. Where is it at? Forgot what it said. That's where the Most High is looking. Brothers, sisters, we try to do this outward thing or whatever. Nah, the most I was looking straight in the, on the inside. That's where he's going to judge us from, too. Yeah, look here how nice our garment look. Read that. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 37, verse 17. The countenance is a sign of changing of the heart. We know, you know, everybody knows when something's wrong with somebody. How many times y'all said, sisters, brothers, y'all can look at somebody and be like, they ain't acting the same as they usually act. They ain't really, you know, what's wrong with them? Something wrong with them? Hey, something wrong with you? No, I'm good. Yeah, right. Go back to Ephesians. Nah, Colossians 3. Get Colossians real quick. Get a couple of them over there. Colossians 3 and 18. By submitting to your husbands, you are submitting to God. You are submitting to the Most High's commandments. What he commanded for your life in this walk. 3 and 18. It's the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 18. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. Boy, I know they was going through it back then. Because they keep on coming up. Wives, I bet Paul was writing this everywhere. Colossians, Ephesians, Peter had to write it. Like, hey, wait, everywhere they go, they had women, the same right? thing going. They reading the report. They're like, man, they ain't going women. Wives, submit. Hey, here we go again. Wives, submit. Why I submit? Lord, just take me. <laughs> Sick of it. <laughs> Read. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as it is fit in the Lord. As it is fit in the Lord. Why? It's because it's the Lord's commandments. And after, it after that, it tells you husbands love your wives. We know that. Or whatever. But that ain't what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about wives, you have to submit to your husbands. Submit to your husbands. The world has broken our families up. But once upon a time, this wasn't a hard thing to do. This captivity is breaking us up. That 50-50 equal stuff, if you get mad, then I can get mad. If you say this, then I can say that. That ain't how, the God, that ain't how God operates. No more than he operates like that with us to him. Ain't no argument. Most I said, as unto the Lord. Get that back in Ephesians 5, 5 and 22. And I hope you newly married uh, brothers and sisters are paying attention. It's going to help your marriage. Trust me, sisters, it'll help your marriage. You all, you getting on his nerves or whatever, he ain't gonna want to go do all the things that he can do to come back and make sure that you're taken care of. He's gonna be trying to figure out how to stay away from you. Getting on his nerves. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own, own husbands as unto the Lord. Read. For the husband is the head of the wife. The husband is the head of the wife. We read that. Where do we read that at, uh, brothers? Eleazar. Stand up. First Corinthians 11. 
Absolutely. It says, for the head, the, the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ. Hold on. Just those two words. I want you to pronounce those. The husband is the head of the wife, even as, even as, Christ. Even as, even as, even as, Christ is the head of the church. Even as means the same exact way. The same way Christ is the head of the church, the same way the church is subject to Christ in everything, the same even as, no if, ands, buts. Y'all got to get it in your spirit. Sisters, when y'all get mad at your husbands and y'all want to act out, y'all want to start making stuff uncomfortable and then yeah, I got something to say and all that old junk, y'all might as well be arguing with Christ himself. And y'all don't see it because a lot of times this stuff just be words on the page and you know we got to go through this captivity together and y'all don't see brothers as spiritual men and y'all think that it's even and equal and 50-50 and it's not. And y'all might get that it's unfair and it was unfair that we went into captivity and the most high let us get killed like that. It's unfair that, you know, I'm sure people saying it's unfair that you're going to flood the whole world. God dang, what about my babies? It's unfair, man. Dang. Come on. It's unfair. Uh, yeah, it is. Whatever. It ain't unfair. Our ways are not his ways. He said, even as we are subject to Christ, you got to be subject to your husband. Read that again. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as... Christ is the head of the church, mm -hmm. and he is the savior of the body. Read. Therefore, as the church is... Therefore, hold on a moment. Therefore. Wait, wait, I, I got a question. Oh, right, go ahead. It says, and he is the savior of the body. So if Christ <laughs> is the savior of the body, what is that saying about the husband and the wife? Y'all was laughing so good, nobody caught it. <laughs> now, um, what is it saying... When it says Christ is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body. In synonymous form, what does that mean about the husband to the wife? Soldier. Okay, okay. Anybody want to add something? I see a couple other hands. Glad. Yeah, he wants you uh, the husband keeping the word. The scriptures and all that I know what's right is wrong, what should be happening at home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Victor. Uh, well, they kind of together, so we can't get that without him. Exactly. So the things that were said all together, what it's going and showing you is the body's not going to get the salvation without Christ. Now, you're going to miss out on your salvation if you don't go through your husband as well as what it's saying. Absolutely. You're not going to sit there and be a husband and wife duo and be uh, disobedient to your husband and still get the kingdom. You need your husband as the intermediary for your salvation. Okay? He's like your ticket. He like your he's like your ticket there. You got a righteous husband, it's like your ticket there. If you got a righteous husband and you treat him like he ain't the Lord, then you know you ain't getting in. You ain't, I mean, you ain't going to get in. You going to get in, you'll be looking at him like, babe. He's going to be like, hey, I'm out. Been waiting for this. Hey, go to uh, Isaiah 4. Watch this. Oh, Isaiah 4. Just because since you brought it up. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 4. This is what's going to be happening in the last days. This happened before and it's going to happen again. It's the book of Isaiah. Y'all don't realize, sister, these men that are trying to start labor in this truth and try to keep God's commandments and these are, this is gold. This is your golden ticket right here. Mm. Four and one. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter four, verse one. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You see that in the day of the Lord, when, 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 the, when the stuff is going down, Seven women gonna take hold of one man. Tell me, look, we'll buy our own food, our own clothes. Just let us be called by your name. Just let us be your wife to take away our reproach so we can get up out of here. We don't please, please. And that's when your sisters that be giving your husbands all kind of headache. That's when you'll be like, 
They're gonna have the school face. He just was in here trying to get my man. Yeah, whatever. You should have got your mind right. Right. If you read up above in the previous chapters, the the point is the whole nation of Israel is getting jacked up because of their unrighteousness, but there's a few select righteous men. Mm -hmm. And so these women, they see the fact that these righteous men are not getting jacked up like everybody else. So they want to go towards these righteous men to get the help. So you're going to have women that will do all their own stuff just to get the help from the from this man to keep to be that hedge of protection around them when you have the hedge of protection and you won't take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. And taking advantage of it sometimes simply means shut up and smile. Be happy about it. Not shut up like, okay, I'm going to shut up. But when he leave, I'm going to be talking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus like we Debo or something. Go back to Ephesians 5. It's the book of Ephesians. Verse 24. Chapter 5, verse 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wise be to their own husbands in everything. In everything. That means in everything that he wishes. As long as he ain't telling you something to sinful, as long as he don't want you to break God's commandments, in everything, be subject to your own husband. Period. That's it. Hey, sisters, y'all understand that? Y'all still with me? Y'all still listening? How many of y'all understand? Every sister's only raise your hand. All praises. So, see, y'all see, brothers? They understand. So when y'all get home, ain't gonna be no arguing, ain't gonna be no fussing, ain't gonna be no fighting, ain't gonna be no cussing. I'm gonna write that down. Y'all gonna be good. They gonna be smiling, even if they mad at you, they are gonna be smiling because they love you, but more importantly, they love the Lord. That's right. All right, we done. Let's break bread. Shalom, this is I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.